That beautiful song is called Look Straight Ahead, and that was performed by my special guest today, Paula Boggs of the Paula Boggs Band. Welcome, Paula. It's uh, good to have you on the show today. I know we were planning on uh, getting together and having an interview um, last fall, but unfortunately, the venue that you were slated to perform at went out of business, <laughs> which was I Conway know. Muse. <laughs> I know. It's so great to be with you finally, Greg. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. You, uh, I, I miss Conway Muse. Um, uh, she brought in, Alpha brought in a, a, a tremendous amount of really wonderful talent. So um, we, we've got a hole there um, that um, hopefully somebody will jump in after the COVID-19 uh, um, uh, quarantine is over and then we can have live music again, which would be great. I hope so. We got a chance to play there a couple times before it closed and we're really looking forward to playing a third time. So, you know, from our band standpoint, it's a, it's a huge disappointment. Well, and we had, um, I actually met you uh, at a performance that you did at Western Washington University, and we got a chance to talk a little bit. Uh, I remember it was to be an outdoor show, and it <laughs> rained cats and dogs that day. And uh, you brought it indoors, and the band just blew the roof off the off the building. And I just, I said at that point, I said I got to have her on my show. There's no question about it. And um, um, it was good to get to talk to you too in person and, and put that face with the voice, which was terrific. I want to talk a little bit about where you've been and where you're going. Uh, you had, uh, I don't know whether you told me this or whether I researched this, uh, but I know that by trade, you started out in the legal field. I, I sure did. <laughs> I, uh, I'm kind of a, Houdini, Greg, in the sense that uh, uh, this uh, the music career is my 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 third career. I I was a military officer, and then a lawyer for many many years uh, before returning to really my 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 first love, music, and I've never looked back. <laughs> That's terrific, I, and your music the. It's not only wonderful, but you have gathered some of the greatest talent. I mean, I, I, I've listened to your music on, on the recordings and watched it over the years. It looks like your first LP release was around 2010. And so the last 10 years, you've really, um, and you're getting a lot of great reviews from uh, people all across the United States for your music. And now you've taken it from, <laughs> what would you call it, the soul grass uh, music from Seattle which was bluegrass and folk and a little bit of everything. And then to just hardcore soul music and now jazz with your new repeat that's going to be released at the end of July called the electro kitty sessions. I like that. Absolutely. It, when, when listeners um, take in electro kitty sessions, they, they will hear uh, a sound that is perhaps more in the in the genre of jazz than we've we've ever done before, but they they should not distress if they think we are somehow uh, abandoning um, you know, Seattle Bird Soulgrass because at the end of the day, what we hope for this EP is that it serves as uh, an anchor for a full studio album we we hope to record in early 2000, uh, 2021 covid permitting <laughs> we um we we actually just recorded a song that is called america 2020 last week in Portland, which we also hope will be part of a an upcoming full length album, and and that song, um, America twenty twenty, very much informed by the times we find ourselves in across the United States, uh, is very much a return to 
are traditional soul grass in the sense that it uh, it it really has a New Orleans rootsy kind of vibe that uh, people who've been following us for a while will say, oh yeah, uh, that's the sound I remember <laughs> coming from Paula Boggs' band. And I think at the end of the day, at least my vision for this upcoming album is that it will canvas a number of of different sounds from the uh, soul jazz folk of Electro Kitty sessions to a more pure folk. And there are songs I have written already, which are so folky, if you will, we, we may not even use percussion for them. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be the sort of thing where it would be, you know, guitar, ukulele, banjo, pedal steel or lap, lap steel bass, stand up bass, but without percussion because, uh, one song in, in particular, which, uh, is called Shadow of Old Glory is so delicate that our fear is um, the drum would take away from the intimacy of that song. Having said that, our percussionist, who I think you've met, Tor Diedrichson, has an amazing array of percussion tools in his toolkit, and so, you know, it, it, anything from, you know, chimes yes, to bells to, I mean, there could be any of a number of things that he could do that would not disrupt, you know, the, the delicacy of that song. But, you know, we hope to really come up with something by then that has everything from sort of rollicking gospel roots music to the the jazz folk of electro kitty sessions to a more pure uh, folk sound well there's one thing for sure you cannot be pigeonholed with the type of music that you play over the last 10 years i mean like i said that two daughters which is a wonderful bluegrass instrumental then um the song that I played just prior to us speaking today, which is Look Straight Ahead, has an incredible, I, 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 I debated on whether playing that one, I like it so much, which is your remix version of that. Um, but I decided that I wanted to, you know, try and show everybody what what you could do. And I think when we finish our interview and I play um, Traces of You, <laughs> they'll be wondering about you, which is great. <laughs> well, you know, one of the, one of the things about... Um, Electro Kitty sessions, and it's is true for Traces of You, uh, Look Straight Ahead, and A Finer Thread. We reimagined all three of those songs. They appear on our very first album, Buddha State of Mind, back in 2010, but you wouldn't know it because we wholly rearranged each of those songs, Uh, you know, for Look Straight Ahead, you know, we've transformed it into something that could, you know, comfortably be in, um, you know, the canon of any of a variety of, you know, folk uh, Americana you know, musicians and, you know, in that space, whereas our original version was probably more in the, quote, folk rock, um, you know, wheelhouse of a, you know, Jefferson Airplane or something like that. And uh, Traces of You was, uh, originally was probably more R&B than, anything else but we we changed the time signature you know it's now in this three four ballad uh vibe that you know would make leonard cohen proud i think (laughs) (laughs) 
That's great. I don't want to let uh, our audience uh, not be aware that you also are a, an activist and you had an album came out in 2017. It was done live called at empty sea, which was a, um, uh, a group of consciousness songs, which I, I thought was really wonderful. And, um, also a, uh, a holiday song, which caught my eye, uh, Paula, because, um, it was recorded at, um, Oh, Bear Creek great Studio. Bear? Is that the name of the studio that was in um, Seattle? Bear Creek Studio, yes. And the gentleman that was on that had had um, done some production for yes. an artist that I like a lot. Yes. Which I think it was Vance uh, Joy, uh, wasn't it? That, um, abs yeah, absolutely. Australian singer. Uh, Ryan Hadlock. Yeah. In, in, in fact, um, Ryan's yes. family, the Hadlocks, have. Um, owned and, and managed uh, Bear Creek Studios since the 1970s and an amazing array of artists have uh, passed through there, including Brandy Carlisle. And I mean, the, the list is very, very long. In fact, maybe, I don't know, several years ago, she came out with uh, an album she called Bear Creek, uh, honoring uh, the studio uh, she <laughs> she recorded it, and you know, know it was that. probably about seven years ago, you know, give or take. But uh, it, it's you know it's it's quite the storied studio, and it is a repurposed barn, and so and it it, it sits on ten acres. So when you record at Bear Creek, you have this sense of being somewhere very far away, and it it has its special magic. For us, it was uh, just wonderful returning uh, to uh, Bear Creek for. Uh, the the Christmas song mistletoe and shiny guitars because we you know we we also recorded right. our um, our 2015 album Carnival of Miracles there and so we have great affection for for that studio and 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 feel as if you know we've done really good work in that in that setting. I think it's probably um, a real understatement <laughs> to say that you have been evolving for the last 10 years with your music. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I, I can't tell our audience how much magic there is in your performance live. They have to see you uh, and your band perform in order to really, I mean, the music is great. It's uh, the recordings are all wonderful. But seeing that group and the passion that's in it when it's uh, a live performance is uh, well. Well, thank you uh, for no for saying that, <laughs> really Greg. Great. And yeah. I have really good news for your listeners because uh, despite <laughs> despite our good uh, our limitations <laughs> under uh, COVID, we will be uh, will will be performing by way of live stream on Friday, August 14th at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. It will be the EP release show of Elixir. I mean, not a Elixir, which was 2017, but Electro the Electro Kitty sessions. Right, right. We're going to be performing it in a... Um, socially distant, appropriate way at Seattle's uh, Royal Room, which is an amazing venue. Uh, there won't be an audience, of course, but we um, are not only live streaming it, we will film it. And so, you know, for people who, for whatever reason, can't participate with us, when we live stream it, we'll also post that show 
at at some point on on YouTube. How about on your website? Will you absolutely one hundred percent? Yes. Website, or, well, let, let's let's tell the audience then where they can get because there's a, a great version of that song that I played just a minute ago called "Long Straight Ahead" that's on YouTube and and also on your um, on your website. It's but that's Paula Boggs Band Band dot com. <laughs> Oh, I got that wrong, didn't <laughs> no I? And I'm standing right here looking at it. You think, you think I do that? PaulaBoggsBand.net. And then um, look for the new Electro Kitty Sessions EP that will from Magnetic Sound Studio, which will be released at the end of this month of July 2020. And we can't wish you enough success with this, Paula. And I do hope that when... Um, when we're back to something uh, approaching normal, that you'll come see me again. I would love really nothing more, Greg. Thank you so much for for having me. The pleasure is mine. And what I'd like to do uh, for the audience is, um, at the end of this, we'll start up with traces of you. Thanks again so much, Paula. Come back and see me. And the thanks best so much, Greg. And you I'll take look care. Look forward to seeing you again in the future.